Benefelk is a film producer known for his work in Hollywood. He has produced several films that have entertained audiences around the world. Now we want to hear from you. Which of Benefelk's productions means the most to you? Do you remember the first time you saw one of his works? What memories do you associate with Benefelk's films? Share your favorite moments and stories in the comments. Stay tuned as we have many interesting facts about Benefelk coming up, including some that are funny, some that are surprising, and some that are touching. Your stories are important to us, and we can't wait to read about your experiences with the films of Benefolk. Benefolk was born on August 15, 1972, in Berkeley, California. Raised in Cambridge, Massachusetts, his family was involved in the arts, and he grew up around people who worked in the theater. His mother was a school teacher, and his father had various jobs, including photography, acting, and writing. Benefolk's parents divorced when he was young, and he and his brother were raised by their mother. His childhood was marked by regular visits to the theater, but also by the challenges of his father's alcoholism. Efolk's interest in acting was sparked early, and he began performing in local productions. As a child, he met Matt Damon, who would become his lifelong friend and collaborator. The two shared an early passion for acting and filmmaking. Efolk's first professional acting job was at the age of seven, and he appeared in a local independent film at the age of eight. He attended Cambridge Rhymes and, and Latin School where he took drama classes and starred in school plays. Significant events that shaped his career include his early exposure to the arts through his family and community, his friendship with Damon, and his early acting experiences. These elements combined to set a folk on a path toward a career in film, both in front of and behind the camera. His early struggles, including his father's addiction and his parents' divorce, influenced his later roles and the depth he brings to his characters. A folk's background laid the foundation for his future success in the entertainment industry. Ben Falk's early career saw a sudden halt in production with the film Attic, where he was cast alongside Christopher Walken. The project, directed by Alan Metter, started filming but stopped after just one day. In Good Will Hunting, Affolk portrayed Chucky, and despite initial industry buzz suggesting Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt might take the lead roles, he and Matt Damon ultimately starred in the film. Affolk also played A.J. Frost in Armageddon, sharing the screen with Michael Clark Duncan, who he would work with again in Daredevil. Judith Hogue, who appeared with the Falcon Armageddon, had a role in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a film that humorously referenced several elements of the Daredevil series. Benefolk's commitment to his roles is evident from the rigorous two-hour daily workout. He started immediately after being cast as Batman. His directorial ventures have seen ups and downs, notably with the adaptation of The Stand, which, despite his initial attachment, was later turned into a miniseries by other creators. A folk's acting prowess shown through in Good Will Hunting as Chucky, and his support for Minnie Driver's casting against initial resistance led to her Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Benefolk has made the most appearances as Batman in live-action films, setting a record by 2022. In the film Malrats, he portrayed Shannon Hamilton, a character with a coincidental connection to Shannon Doherty's brief marriage to Ashley Hamilton. Efolk was also slated for cameos in two films produced by Kevin Smith, Bulger, and Big Helium Dog, but scheduling issues prevented his participation. These instances highlight Efolk's active and diverse roles in the film industry. Ben Affelk's journey in film has seen him in diverse roles, each revealing a different side of his acting ability. As Chucky and Good Will Hunting, he found himself in an amusing predicament with Matt Damon, having to pretend admiration for Braveheart to Mel Gibson, despite not having seen the film. His role as Ned Allen in Shakespeare in Love was a personal one, driven by his desire to work alongside Gwyneth Paltrow, who he was dating at the time. In Armageddon, playing A.J. Frost, Efolk admitted to being moved by the film's patriotic speech, despite his usual cynical outlook. Each role showcases Efolk's adaptability and the personal connections that influence his performances. Ben Efolk, before becoming a prominent actor, often portrayed the character of a bully. His family tree includes connections to 16 past presidents of the United States, such as Barack Obama, and he shares ancestry with Princess Diana. Efolk's personal friendships extend to fellow actors like George Clooney, who has also donned the cape as Batman. Ben Efolk's role as Chucky and Good Will Hunting was a turning point in his career. The original script included a plot where Will Hunting, played by Matt Damon, was to join the government as a codebreaker. 
This idea was scrapped after advice from Rob Reiner, but a nod to it remains in a scene where Will discusses his reluctance to work for the NSA. In Shakespeare in Love, a folk portrayed Ned Allen after turning down the role of William Shakespeare offered by producer Harvey Weinstein. His performance contributed to the film's success. In 1999, F. Hulk was recognized for his charm and looks being named one of the most beautiful people by People magazine. Ben Falk's journey in film has taken him from a comic role in Chasing Amy to the iconic cape of Batman. During a commentary for Chasing Amy, Kevin Smith jokingly compared Falk to George Clooney, hinting at a future where Falk would indeed become Batman. His personal connection to good will hunting runs deep, with his family having worked at Harvard, the setting of the film. He later stood at Harvard, advocating for fair wages, a cause close to his heart. Affolk's career has intersected with other actors like Stellan Skarsgård and Robin Williams, sharing roles connected to Tom Clancy's novels and the film Insomnia, showcasing the interconnected nature of their careers. Ben Affolk, known for his acting and directing, was once in the running to direct Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens. During his high-profile relationship with Jennifer Lopez, the couple was often called Benifer, a term Affolk disliked. In the film Shakespeare in Love, he portrayed Ned Allen, a character linked to the historical Edward Allen, who was not only a contemporary actor of Shakespeare, but also the founder of Dulwich College and Allen School in London. Ben Affleck's portrayal of Chucky in Good Will Hunting is a testament to his talent, but the script's origins were often questioned. William Goldman, a respected writer, clarified at a seminar that the credit belongs to Affleck and Matt Damon. He advised them to focus on the personal and local elements of the story, which they did, leading to the film's success. In personal life, Affleck celebrated becoming an uncle when his brother Casey welcomed a son, Indiana, with actress Summer Phoenix in Amsterdam. The journey of good while hunting to the screen was not smooth, with directorial changes and creative differences. Michael Mann, who showed interest in directing, wanted to alter the story and cast, but the producers stood by Damon and Affleck, ensuring their vision remained intact. Ben Affleck, known for his roles in various films, once auditioned for the part that Corey Haim played in License to Drive. In the movie Dogma, he portrayed the character Bartleby, an angel, alongside Alan Rickman and Matt Damon, where their costumes included hoods that symbolized their angelic halos. Affleck has also worked with his wife, Jennifer Lopez, in two films, Jiggly and Jersey Girl, and they have been featured together in two music videos, including Jenny from the Block and the ballad version of Marry Me. Their collaborations span across both cinema and music, showcasing their dynamic as a couple in the entertainment industry. Ben Affleck's journey in the entertainment industry is marked by notable moments. He was present at the grand opening of the Atlantis Palms Resort in Dubai, which was celebrated with an impressive fireworks display. Early in his career, he shared a bank account with Matt Damon, reflecting their close friendship and shared beginnings. Affleck has also expanded his acting range by taking on the roles of three different superheroes, showcasing his adaptability on the big screen. His work continues to draw attention and adds to his growing list of achievements in film. Ben Affleck's career includes a range of roles that connect him with other notable actors. He worked with Alec Baldwin in Pearl Harbor, and both have portrayed Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. They also played superheroes from the golden age of comics with Baldwin as the Shadow and Affleck as Batman. In Malrat's Affleck played Shannon, linking him to Joey Lauren Adams, who also appeared in Dazed and Confused with Jeremy London, whose twin brother Jason London starred alongside Adams. Both Malrat's and Dazed and Confused share common elements like casting by Don Phillips and production by Sean Daniel, John Sloss, and James Jacks. Affleck's role as Chucky and Good Will Hunting is another highlight of his career. Mel Gibson, who was considered to direct the film, met with the folk, Matt Damon, and Harvey Weinstein, but decided not to take on the project. Ben Affleck's talents extend beyond acting and directing. He is also recognized for his skill in mimicking his co-stars. His ability to capture the essence of his fellow actors is so precise that it once prompted Morgan Freeman to half-jokingly threaten him after witnessing his impersonation. Affleck's friendship with Matt Damon is not just personal, but professional as well, leading to several successful collaborations. His reputation in the film industry is solidified with a mention in the prestigious Dictionnaire du Cinéma's Acteurs by Jean Chillard, highlighting his significant presence in cinema. Ben Affleck, known for his work both in front of and behind the camera, 
earned a significant paycheck of $1.5 million for his appearance in commercials for El Oriol Shampoo back in 23. Despite his success, Afok has distanced himself from the movie Armageddon, where he played A.J. Frost, even poking fun at it during the film's commentary. His career includes membership in the prestigious Five Timers Club on Saturday Night Live, a recognition shared with notable personalities such as Alec Baldwin, Steve Martin, and Tom Hanks, highlighting his repeated hosting of the show. Ben Affleck's journey in film has seen him take on roles that have become significant in his career. As Chucky in Good Will Hunting, he, alongside Matt Damon, made a bold move by renting an expensive house after selling their script, despite having no prior credit to their names. Their gamble paid off, securing them a deal worth $600,000. In Chasing Amy, Ethel portrayed Holden, sporting facial hair contrary to the clean-shaven look on promotional materials, a choice that mirrored his character in Jiggly. Both roles shared a common narrative thread with the Felk's characters developing relationships with lesbian women. Beyond acting, Affolk's skills extended to the poker table where he claimed victory at the California State Poker Championships, taking home $356,000 and besting some of the top players in the game. Ben Affolk's early role as Chesty Smith in School Ties set the stage for his future portrayals of complex characters. Alongside him, Matt Damon and Chris O'Donnell also transitioned to playing lawyers, with Damon in The Rainmaker and O'Donnell in The Chamber. A folk's turn as a lawyer came in Daredevil, a departure from the John Grisham novels that inspired his colleagues' films. In Armageddon, a folk's character A.J. Frost shared a powerful moment with Bruce Willis' character, showcasing a raw emotional exchange uncommon in summer blockbusters. This scene highlighted a folk's willingness to explore the depth of his character's feelings. As Bartleby in Dogma, a folk delivered a memorable line reminiscent of the Incredible Hulk, adding a layer of intensity to the film's climax. These roles demonstrate a folk's range and commitment to bringing authenticity to his performances. Ben Affleck's journey has seen its share of highs and lows. In 1999, he faced a fine for driving with a suspended license in Massachusetts. His career, however, tells a story of significant achievements. By 2014, he had starred in four Oscar-nominated films, including Field of Dreams and Good Will Hunting. Notably, Shakespeare in Love and Argo both secured the Best Picture Award. His role as Fred O'Banion in Dazed and Confused is memorable, especially since Vince Vaughn was also considered for a part in the film. Ultimately, Vaughn was not cast because he looked too much like a folk, leading to Cole Hauser getting a role. A folk and Hauser later portrayed brothers in the film The Breakup. Ben Affleck's dedication to his role in Daredevil is evident as he worked closely with four stunt professionals, each skilled in different aspects such as combat and wire work. Despite the support, he performed many stunts himself to bring authenticity to his character. In his personal life, Affleck's marriage to Jennifer Garner ended in 2015, a decade after it began. On screen, his portrayal of a J. Frost in Armageddon included a notable scene with a classic 1966 Shelby GT350 highlighting his character's rugged charm. Ben Affleck's experience on the set of Armageddon as A.J. Frost was a turning point in his approach to stunts. Initially eager to perform them himself, a close call with a fireball during the space station sequence changed his mind, leading him to leave the riskier tasks to professionals. Despite this, director Michael Bay would still encourage him to undertake some stunts. In Good Will Hunting, Affleck portrayed Chucky, and in a nod to his later role, Chucky attends a job interview at a company named after a folk's character in Chasing Amy Holden McNeil. Both movies were distributed by Murmax. Chasing Amy also marked a folk's first time in a leading role, playing the character Holden McNeil, which established him as a prominent actor in the industry. Ben Affleck's role as Chucky and Good Will Hunting marked a significant moment in Kevin Smith and Scott Mosier's careers as it was their first film to gain Oscar recognition. Their involvement in the production was crucial, despite not receiving nominations themselves. Affleck's relationship with Smith, which began with Malrats and continued with Chasing Amy, played a pivotal role. It was Affleck who introduced Matt Damon and Brian O'Halloran to Smith, leading to the screenplay's journey to Murmax and Harvey Weinstein. 
In Armageddon, a felt portrayed A.J. Frost and famously questioned the film's logic, suggesting astronauts should learn to drill. Director Michael Bay's dismissive response didn't deter the film from explaining its rationale for sending drillers into space instead. Returning to Good Will Hunting, the emotional impact of the film's production on a folk and Damon was profound. Witnessing seasoned actors Robin Williams and Stellan Skarsgård perform a scene they had written verbatim moved them to tears, a culmination of five years of anticipation and hard work. This moment underscored the personal significance of the film for both the folk and Damon. Ben Affolk's early career saw him playing Chesty Smith in School Ties, a film that marked a significant year for him as he and other actors like Matt Damon and Brendan Fraser auditioned for Scent of a Woman. Chris O'Donnell ultimately won the role of Charlie Sims and was nominated for a Golden Globe. Affolk's role as A.J. Frost in Armageddon showcased his action skills and he later reunited with Liv Tyler in Jersey Girl. During the filming of Armageddon, Afolk shared insights about the massive NASA building used for filming, which required temperature control to prevent indoor rain. The production team, led by Michael Bay and Jerry Bruckheimer, worked hard to gain access to NASA's facilities, including a weightless simulation pool where Afolk and Bruce Willis had a brief but memorable 20 minutes to shoot their scenes. This experience highlighted the excitement of working with NASA's advanced technology. Ben Affleck took on the role of Chesty Smith in the film School Ties, a starting point that led him to later portray the iconic character Batman. His journey as a superhero was shared with Chris O'Donnell, who played Robin, though they appeared in separate films. Affleck was not the first to step into the shoes of an older Batman. He followed in the footsteps of Robert Lowery, surpassing Christian Bale's age by one year and five months when he took on the role. His influence in the industry was recognized in 23 when he was placed at number 41 on Premier's Power 100 list, highlighting his significant presence in Hollywood. Ben Affleck made history by being the first to portray Batman in two films released the same year, with his appearance in Suicide Squad following Batman v Superman. His role as A.J. Frost in Armageddon grew unexpectedly after the success of Titanic, leading to a more prominent love story in the film. Affleck's early career included an uncredited role in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, sharing the screen with Luke Perry, who later played Archie's father in Riverdale. His performance as Holden in Chasing Amy showcased his range, with memorable scenes discussing comic book characters' personal lives. Affleck's journey reflects his adaptability and the unpredictable nature of film roles. Ben Affleck's journey in film is a story of collaboration and achievement. Partnering with Matt Damon, he co-wrote and starred in Good Will Hunting, a script that began as a college assignment for Damon. Their teamwork paid off when a Falk at 25 became the youngest winner of the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay, with Damon not far behind at 27. Years later, Affleck took on the mantle of Bruce Wayne, becoming the oldest actor to step into Batman's shoes at the age of 40. His career reflects a blend of early promise and sustained success. Ben Affleck's role as Chucky and Good Will Hunting marked the beginning of a significant phase in his career, collaborating with Matt Damon on the script. While they went on to write other scripts separately, Affleck's direction and co-writing for Gone Baby Gone and the town showcased his growing expertise behind the camera. His acting career also saw him in diverse roles, including three sports film school ties of The Way Back in Air. His improvisational skills were highlighted in Dogma, where he humorously ad-libbed a line that was kept in the final cut, showing his ability to bring a personal touch to his characters. Ben Affleck, known for his work both in front of and behind the camera, holds Harrison Ford as his personal hero. His career took a significant turn when he, alongside Matt Damon, sold the script for good while hunting for 600,000, a movie that would later become a classic. A folk's role as A.J. Frost in Armageddon brought him into a humorous exchange with director Michael Bay about the film's plot. He questioned the logic behind training oil drillers to be astronauts instead of the other way around, to which Bay bluntly ended the conversation. This moment highlights a folk's ability to critically analyze and even humorously critique the narratives of his projects. Ben Affleck's journey began far from the glitz of Hollywood. Standing at just 5'1 in his early high school years, he was the quintessential theater enthusiast navigating the complexities of adolescence. His breakout role as Chucky in Good Will Hunting not only showcased his acting talent, 
but also hinted at his aspirations. The character names believed to be nods to director Zafalk, and co-writer Matt Damon admired, reflect a desire to collaborate with cinematic greats like Mark Rocco and Sir Richard Attenborough. Zafalk's personal life, marked by a public struggle with alcohol, led him to seek help at Promises Rehabilitation Center in 2001, a step towards recovery and a testament to his resilience. Ben Affelk's role as Chucky and Good while hunting showcased his early talent, but it was the unique approach he and Matt Damon took to sell their script that set them apart. They included an unexpected scene to test if studios were paying attention. Murmax, led by Harvey Weinstein, passed their test and got the deal. Beyond acting, Affelk has a passion for motorcycles owning five. His creative input significantly shaped Armageddon, suggesting the use of his personal Super 8 camera to film the wedding scene, adding a personal touch to the movie's ending. Benefolk has a strong connection with director Kevin Smith, having worked on eight films together. These collaborations include early works like Malrats and Chasing Amy to later projects such as Jay and Silent Bob Reboot and Clerks Roman 3. His directorial skills caught Hollywood's attention, leading to him being a candidate to direct the superhero film Man of Steel. Additionally, his influence in the industry was recognized in 22 when he was placed at number 77 on Premier's Power 100 list, highlighting his significant presence in Hollywood. Benefolk took on the role of Chesty Smith in the film School Ties, sharing the screen with Chris O'Donnell. Their paths would cross again as they both stepped into the DC Universe, O'Donnell as Robin and Afolk as Batman. Afolk's early career also saw him alongside Randall Baninkoff and Andrew Lowry in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. His knack for detective roles was not limited to his portrayal of Batman. He continued this trend in the movie Hypnotic released in 2023. Ben Affelk was set to bring a new chapter to the Batman legacy by writing, directing, producing, and starring in the Batman. However, he stepped down from these roles and Matt Reeves took over, casting Robert Pattinson as a younger Batman. In Armageddon, Affelk played A.J. Frost, a character whose love story with Grace, played by Liv Tyler, was not originally in the script. The subplot was added to appeal to a younger audience inspired by the success of Titanic. Uffolk is notable for being the third actor with an Academy Award to play Batman, following George Clooney and Christian Bale. He stands out as the first to have received the award prior to taking on the role, with his second Oscar win for producing Argo alongside Clooney. Ben Affelk's journey in cinema has seen him in various roles, from the loyal friend Chucky in Good Will Hunting to the fallen angel Bartleby in Dogma. His early career included a role alongside Matt Damon and Cole Hosser in School Ties. Despite his diverse roles, the folks' portrayal of Fred O'Banion and Dazed and Confused did not propel his career as it did for others in the film. He reflects on this experience, noting his character's lack of appeal compared to the more likable ones, leading to him being overlooked. This candid reflection shows the unpredictability of an acting career where not every role leads to immediate success.